This tutorial will show you some basic features of editing video in Photoshop. Yes, you can quickly create videos without having to learn another application. First of all, make sure the Timeline panel is visible in Photoshop. If necessary, choose Motion from the Workspace menu in the upper right corner. Second, it's best to have all the clips and media in one folder. To start creating a video in Photoshop, you import your clips. In the Timeline window, click the Add Media icon and choose Add Media from the menu. In the Add Clips window, select the clips you want and click Open. Photoshop imports the clips and places them end-to-end -end in the Timeline panel. You'll notice that in the Layers panel, the clips appear as layers within a video group. To arrange the order of the clips, simply drag them in the Timeline. Next, determine where the footage begins and ends by using a technique called trimming. For example, we want the two men in this clip to be walking at the start of the clip rather than waiting around for instructions. I move the pointer to the beginning of the clip. Notice how it becomes a left bracket. As I drag the beginning of the clip, a small preview appears. This helps me drag the start of the clip to where I want. We'll do the same procedure to trim the end of the clip. Anytime you want to preview your edits, use the playback control in the Timeline panel. There are also buttons for moving back or forward one frame. And there's a button for moving back to the very beginning of your video. Photoshop lets you add transitions and fades to your video. Let's add a fade into the opening clip. I'd click the Transitions icon, a window opens, and then set the duration. Right now it's at 3 seconds, which is fine, so we're going to leave it there. Choose Fade with Black from the menu and drag it down on top of the beginning of the first clip. Let's see what it looks like. That looks good. You can add transitions between clips, so let's add a crossfade between the first two clips. Click the Transitions icon. If necessary, set the duration. We're going to leave it again at 3 seconds. Choose Crossfade from the menu and drag it between the two clips. I'm going to move the current time indicator closer to the edit so we can preview our transition. Now let's add a music track to the clips. We click the Add Audio icon in the Audio track and choose Add Audio from the menu. In the Add Audio Clips window, select the audio file and click Open. As you can see, the audio file has been added to the timeline and it's much longer than our clips. You can trim your audio just like you trim your video clips. Drag the end of the clip to the length you want. Right-clicking the audio clip opens a window with controls so you can adjust the volume or add a fade-in or fade-out. Since our video clip has a 3-second fade-in, we'll add a 3-second fade-in to the audio. For our video, we just want music and no dialogue, so we're going to mute the sound on the video clips. To do this, I right-click the video clips, click the audio icon, and then select Mute Audio. Let's preview our video. If I wanted to blend the music track and dialogue, I would adjust the percentages of the volumes of each clip. I'm going to show you a couple more video editing features in Photoshop. We're going to add a title over a video clip. For this, we'll use a different clip. Select the text tool, choose your font, size, style, and color. Then click in the document window and type. 
The text is kind of large, so let's make it a little smaller. Photoshop adds the text as another layer within the video group. Since we want the text to appear over a clip, in the Layers panel, drag the text layer above the video group. Then in the timeline, position the text clip over the footage you want it to appear. Using the Move tool in the Document window, you can position the text where you want it. Just like any other clip, you can add a transition to it. Let's add a fade in and fade out to our text. I'll also adjust the duration of the clip. Now let's see what we have. The great thing about editing video in Photoshop is that you're using familiar tools and commands. For example, you can add an adjustment layer to change the appearance of the video. Select the clip you want. You can choose black and white. Or adjust the levels. Or manipulate the color of the footage. Keep in mind that all the edits you're making are non-destructive. They're not altering the original footage. When you're finished editing your video, you're ready to export it. From the File menu, choose File, Export, Render Video. In the Render Video dialog box, give the video a name and select a destination. You can choose a file format for your video. And there are numerous output presets to choose from. When you're finished, click the Render button and Photoshop generates your video. Before quitting Photoshop, save the document as a Photoshop file. This lets you come back later and do more editing if you want. You've just seen how easy it is to start editing video in Photoshop. Keep in mind that there are advanced features and tools for creating more complex videos. Features like using keyframes to animate effects and elements in your video. But for now, you can dive in and use the basic tools to create your own videos in Photoshop.